So multiple sclerosis is one of these modern diseases that science and medicine doesn't really have an answer to. It is believed that MS is not fixable. I actually think it is. It's just the fix that I think you've got to do is very unconventional and nobody really tries what I think you've got to do. Anyways, in this video I'll give you part of the story that you've got to do to fix MS and that is the nutrient part regarding myelin sheath production. I have a lot more information on this topic but I can't really share all of it here on YouTube. However, reaching out to me is possible through all of these crazy links in the video description. So MS is a pretty nasty autoimmune disease of the nervous system. There are several forms of MS and you often find a specific form gathering in a country. So for example, in Europe you have one dominating MS form and then you look at other countries, for example like Japan, they have a very different form of MS. This has to do with their environment. Anyways, autoimmune means the body attacks its own tissue. And in the case of MS, it is actually the myelin sheath around your nerves, which are basically isolation of your nerves. So nerves can be imagined like cables in the electricity in your house. For example, a computer you might be watching this video with, it's connected through a cable. When you're looking at this cable, you're only seeing this plastic part. But remember, there is this metal part on the inside. And this is really the most important part of this cable. You could have a cable without this plastic part around it, but you can't have a working cable with only the plastic part. Same thing for your nerves. But the problem is, if you don't have this plastic part or the myelin sheath around your nerves, if two cables start touching each other, they can basically short circuit the system they are connected to. The central controller for our nervous system is our brain. And our brain is needed for a lot more than just this conscious thinking we are both doing right now. For example, to move my fingers, I've got to send a nerve signal to my muscles in my fingers to move them in a really weird way. But we also have to think about, for example, the muscles surrounding our gut, smooth muscles. Have you ever tried to flex your intestines? Oh, it doesn't really work. Why? Because these muscles work on automatic and they basically push the food to, uh, through our intestines. We have a lot more for our nervous system. But for example, this is why some MS patients can't move certain parts of their body anymore or only their head at some point with their neck because they lose this motor control. Other symptoms include digestive issues, for example, because of the smooth muscles not working anymore or other things. We also have depression as a symptom, vision problems, pain, speech problems, spasms, hearing problems. It can affect anything. Our nervous system is incredibly important. Now, one thing you want to do when you have MS is optimize myelin sheath production. Other things, by the way, include optimizing the immune system so that your body doesn't attack your own myelin sheath anymore, increasing mitochondrial function to send stronger nerve signals and a lot more. So what does your body need for myelin sheath? The most important nutrient for myelin sheath production turns out to be vitamin B12, also called cobolamin. If you have MS, you absolutely want to make sure that you get enough of this vitamin. This vitamin is water soluble and this is the nutrient that typically vegans or people on a plant-based diet have a problem with. Despite it being water soluble, the body can actually store it, which is somewhat unusual for a water soluble vitamin. It is found in the highest amounts, of course, if vegans have a problem with it, in animal foods. Now, animal foods like fish or land animal foods like beef actually have all eight B vitamins. This is a huge deal, but keep in mind, they come in different ratios. So for example, if you compare the vitamin B1 content in this example now of pork to beef, you're gonna find pork has around 15 times 
more vitamin B1 than beef. Huge deal. Now, in the case of vitamin B12, you're gonna find beef is the absolute best choice. It has so much B12 compared to everything else. Just eat beef once, once a day and you're gonna have all the vitamin B12 you're gonna need. And in your case specifically for MS, I really highly recommend that you eat more beef. I would recommend at least a few times a week, if not maybe, if it's possible, one time every single day. I would always go for the natural forms for specific reasons I don't want to go into right now. But if you still want to get it in the form of a supplement, please only take methylcobolamine, not cyanocobolamine. Cyanocobolamine breaks down to cyanide and this is literally a toxin. And especially in your case with your nerves, don't consume that. Now, if you're concerned about the cholesterol in the meat causing issues for your heart or your arteries, you will be shocked to find out the next point that is important for your myelin sheath production. Cholesterol. However, keep in mind most of the cholesterol that's in your body is actually being produced by your own body. But in your case specifically, you might benefit getting some cholesterol for your myelin sheath production because you might need to make more myelin sheath. And there is one issue that a lot of people have that we are going to talk about soon. Now, I read an article on a website saying you should get the healthy cholesterol and avoid the unhealthy cholesterol from red meat, for example. So, for all of the pseudoscientists out there, cholesterol is always cholesterol. Just like 1 equals 1 and not 1.5. And when we're talking about things like HDL and LDL, these are cholesterol carrying proteins that go through your body because cholesterol is a lipid which doesn't mix very well with water. What is your blood mostly? Water. That's why you need proteins to carry them throughout your body. But the cholesterol in red meat is no different from the cholesterol in other foods. Cholesterol, always cholesterol. And to cover even that, saturated fat, which are also thought of to cause heart disease. Listen, we've studied them for 70 years now. This was all based on a hypothesis. Now we have really large studies and we found saturated fats do not cause heart disease. Now, getting back to the cholesterol, I think getting some extra cholesterol from your diet might benefit you. However, I think the bigger problem is actually that the cholesterol in your body is used for cortisol production all the time and basically being stolen. This topic is rather referred to when talking about low sex hormones, but if you're chronically high cortisol, most of the co available cholesterol will be shunted to its production. What are the main causes for high cortisol? That is circadian mismatch due to chronic blue light exposure. Basically, living an indoor lifestyle. And this ties into the fact that most MS patients have low vitamin D. Means they're never outside. But again, can't really talk too much about this here on YouTube. Now let's discuss the last important nutrient for myelin sheath production. Fat. Fat is essential for us. And as you can see on this picture, myelin sheath is made up of bilayer membranes. Membranes are made up of fat, specifically fatty acids, which fats actually break down to. So the fats you consume break down to fatty acids and they become your membranes, also your cell membranes. Now you don't need to consume a ton of fat to get enough for fat for your myelin sheath like on high fat diet, low carb, all of this stuff. You don't have to do that. I just want you to know you're not supposed to cut down on the fat on your diet for some weight loss or some low fat heart healthy stuff. This is all bullshit. And this is really bad in your case. No one, no one should go low fat, but specifically not you. So I'm going to make my recommendations for fat for you really simple. I want you to consume more natural fats and avoid unnatural fats. What are unnatural fats? These are seed oils, for example, that you can see on my lists. Also avoid things like margarine. Guess what? 
the fries are still unhealthy because they are made with seed oils and even worse, they are heated. Makes it all even worse. If you want more information on the fat topic, because it's also important for you, you can check out my video I made on fats. So, I hope these tips help you. However, keep in mind, this is step number one. There's a lot more for you to do that goes way beyond diet. And this is really what you've got to do to get rid of MS. If you want to get this information or just more information, reach out to me for a consultation for a 15 minute free info call through the link in the video description. And don't let anyone ever tell you that your disease isn't fixable.